1 meter in Singapore, 1.5 meters in Australia, and 2 meters in the UK and US. The world just can't seem to agree on what the safe distance should be. Just how far apart do we really need to be? <coughs> oh my gosh! All over his head and face! <coughs> so the neck has not escaped my spittle! Oh, look at the arm! <coughs> there are some spots on the t-shirt still. There on his chest, on the arms, a little bit. I do see a little bit, yeah. A scientist from MIT found that mucus and saliva can travel as far as 8 meters. We've got some on your face already. Tiny little specks on the t-shirt. A few on the arms. Some on the face and by the feet. And it's not just about what we can see, but rather what we can't see. A study found that a minute of talking loudly could produce more than 1,000 coronavirus-filled droplets. What's worse is that they can linger in the air for up to 14 minutes. <gasps> Most experts agree that any form of protection is definitely better. And whether it's homemade or surgical, it still might stop carriers from unknowingly passing the virus on. But it may not prevent you from getting infected. And that's why we still have to keep a distance.